en français. Acte 1, c'est écrit en français en tout cas. Welcome to QSMP ah. Info, where you will find news on the lives our guests lead during their stay on the island. This broadcast is brought to you by the QSMP Federation. My name is Kukurucho, and I will be your host today. We've got much to cover since the guests arrived. So... C'est mieux réalisé que quand c'était Kwakiti qui présentait les élections. Hein. So let's get started. On March 22nd, 2023, 17 guests arrived at case. Ça, c'est vrai qu'il y a Rubius sur le serveur. Il a complètement déserté lui aussi. Putain, y'a plein de gens, je les ai jamais vus. Genre El Mariana, Sprint, Missa Sinfonia. Ça, c'est des gens que je connais pas du tout. Luzu aussi. Wilbur, j'en ai beaucoup entendu parler, mais. Enfin, Wilbur, j'en ai beaucoup entendu parler, mais je l'ai jamais vu dans le serveur. Des gens que j'ai crois. Bah, c'est tous ceux qui sont à gauche là. Fit, Filza, Jaden, Bad Boy, Halo, Foolish. Sidia Island, split into two groups separated by a wall. The guests were instructed to restore power to the island through teamwork. Upon completion, the guests were met with a broadcast from a friendly duck, welcoming them to the island and making them aware of one simple, very easy to follow rule. Do not press the red button. All guests immediately opted to disregard this rule, resulting in the destruction of a portion of the wall. This united the two trop cool. guests, and, more importantly, the duck informed the guests that due to breaking the rule, they would never be able to leave the island. The guests, unsure of what to do, did the only thing they could, play Minecraft. <laughs> Je gêne un peu pour la trad. Toi qui me gêne. Bon. Là, t'as pas vu le et en entier. Mais... Comment oui, Parce que c'est un, sur... un surnom. Wow <coughs> Foolish was the first one to meet two strange entities, the angel and the devil. Strange, powerful entities that reward the guests with illegal items. Oh. I come oh. here to make love and peace. Make and love? You want to make love you. with me? No, that's fine. I'm single. Il y a complètement écrit El Rubius sur euh, au-dessus de sa tête. The guests received another message from the duck. During this news, the guests learned that, as a result of the wall's destruction, a dragon that resided on the island had flown away and abandoned its eggs. From this point on, the guests were instructed to take care of the eggs in pairs of English and Spanish speakers. Cayenne, esta canción es para ti. Si te fallo, te pido perdón. Yeah, take it out. Yeah, Dapper. Oh my goodness. Deline. Tomorrow, non, ça fait we're bizarre de les voir euh... wrestling match with the with the neighbor kid. Are you ready? Pas complètement ce fait. Euh... Come on, throw ouais, a jab. Throw a jab, casque, euh... throw a jab. Pas yeah. Throw a jab. Throw a jab. Two members were left as single parents: Quackity, whose other partner was a mystery, and Bad Boy Halo, who cared alone. These unfit parents had to ensure the health and safety of the eggs until their true mother returns. Within the span of the week, multiple eggs lost one of two lives permanently due to neglect. Ramon, Barnaflipa, Cheyenne, and Talene lost lives. Comment les hisse ou oui? Oh putain. Oh, what is it, Cheyenne? Oh no, what? Oh, Ramon! Ramon! Then, disaster struck. Notorious misclicker El Marionis laid his own daughter in an unfortunate accident. Et c'est pour ça que je me disais, cette personne, je l'ai jamais vue, mais je pense qu'il est traumatisé par Alf. His husband in shambles, Slimesicle turned furious from the grief and went on a murderous rampage, aiming to slay all the other eggs to force a reset of all of the eggs' lives, including his daughter's. Come here! Come here, you rat! You little rat! You rat child! Where are you? Where are you? Fortunately, Slimesicle is a terrible child murderer. Oh my god, mommy! Jesus shit! With all that ruckus, Kukurucho arrived to analyze the situation. Bon choix de rester. Close friends supported the idea of holding a trial to determine the fate of Juana Flipa and the possibility of reviving her. Juana Flipa. Putain mais ça c'est trop les trucs j'en ai jamais entendu parler quoi. On day 22, the two sides prepared to face each other at the courtroom. Prior to the trial, Slimesicle had managed to somehow convince five separate people to represent him against Mariana and Royer in the trial. May my, may my lawyer please proceed to the stand? Uh, yes. I mean... 
The opposing parties presented their arguments on why Juana Felipe should get to live. Unintentionally, the trial also acted as a way to defame both Mariana and Foolish, due to Foolish rumors of promiscuity. OMG! Oh! That was before. Ça, ça devait être marrant le français. En vrai. Vegeta, and, and there's no connection between us whatsoever anymore. Slime Sickle's transgressions towards Cheyenne were brought up by Filza with damning video evidence. But. Du coup, ouais, Slime Sickle, il a essayé de plusieurs fois d'assassiner Cheyenne en fait. By the end of the trial, the verdict was to revive Lana Flipa. As long as Mariana and Slime served a jail sentence, which they escaped to see their daughter again. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, Ocean Drive! Excusez-moi, je suis en non répertorié, du coup, j'ai. Merci à tous. Go, 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 I've won. What a FIFA! This happiness could not last forever. On day 23, Tilene had been in the custody of Royer for the day. Upon meeting with Slime, he offered to take care of Tilene with one of Flea before the day. As the three went on their way, enemies showed up and they had to fight for their lives. Tragically, Tilene was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ça, c'est des noms, j'ai jamais entendu, genre Tilene, j'avais jamais entendu parler de. What the fuck, man? Matasta Tilin! Quackity is going to kill you, man! Your nephew just died, and the only thing you can think of is taking a fucking selfie in front of his body. No, it's not a selfie, it's a proof because you killed my fucking Tilin! It was my Tilin! Slime exiled himself out of deep shame, leaving Royer to take care of Ron Flipa. Meanwhile, in a quiet corner, Trump lost his second life due to neglect. Mais ça, j'en ai entendu parler par contre. By the members of the island. During his exile, Slime regretted his carelessness in handling his sword. Meanwhile, another case of a misclick occurs. Mariana slays Lana Flipa again, officializing her final death. Oui, parce que vraiment, c'est la dernière vie, quoi. On one strange day, an entity called Aaron, awakened within Lasu. An artificial intelligence that lay inside his consciousness. Confused by the world, he started communicating through the chat. Fellow guests arrived at his location, confused at what was going on with their friend. After a bit of friendly torture where they presumed they could make Lasu snap out of this strange state, they eventually realized that this really was a different entity. They taught him about the world and how things work. He was very excited and curious about the new experiences, though quickly learned about how cruel the outside can be. Lasu and Darren would share his body, trading control on a whim whenever the former would lay down and sleep for the night. Oh, ouais. For the most part, Lasu spent his time like any other guest, causing trouble for the others by placing landmines around the place. While Aaron expanded his understanding of the world, he decided that it was his purpose to ensure that the outside world was free of danger. He declares his new learnings, that the world is beautiful and dangerous at the same time, and that every moment spent alive is worth enjoying. Wilbur Sirt returned to the server after a long absence, meeting Fit MC and catching Il a beaucoup de longues absences, lui. He was unaware that he was about to be forced into parenthood, just like all the other guests. As Wilbur and Fit investigated the daycare, they discovered an attic. Within it, they found a new egg. With some reluctance, Wilbur eventually agreed to become her father. Despite sustaining herself entirely on the earth, Wilbur was a healthy, happy child that quickly bonded with her new father who got attached very quickly to his musical daughter. On day 27, the members gathered to mourn the loss of Trump, Tilene, and Juana Flipa. Slime Sickle attended the funeral virtually from a secret location, using the cameras he had planted around the building to watch it. But, he quickly revealed himself when he saw Quackity get taken away by Kukurucho to a secret room. <laughs> Trump? It's me. Oh. Trump! Trump! The parents of the deceased eggs were allowed a few last moments to say goodbye. Slime Sickle believed that there still would be a way to bring his child back. After the funeral was over, the guests began to show hostility towards each other. The QSMP members showed their strong displeasure with the following events. The first fight broke out between Spreen and Dapper, which resulted in a fight between Spreen and Bad Boy Hollow in the graveyard. on the fight, and eventually Bad Boy Hollow lost. The second fight occurred between a distraught Quackity and Slime Sickle, as revenge for killing Deline. Due to Quackity's lack of combat skills, Slime let him win to give him a sense of closure. And of course, after all the stressful dramatic fights, Foolish and Leonardo had a friendly parent-child sparring session. Deeply hit by grief after the loss of their children, Quackity and Slime Sickle began scheming. While Quackity's plan was to deceive the others and rob them, mm. Slime Sickle mm. had other ideas. What if we just like, why don't we just start up with the egg thing and just like see where it goes? Maybe you and, and Mariana could help. I like the idea, I like the idea. The next time I see you, you're gonna be all dressed up, 
and I'm gonna introduce you to everyone. I'm gonna say that my, uh, that I have a new son. That I, I got pregnant overnight. I have a new That's son. That's beautiful. And yeah. he'll get along with all the eggs. Hey. Slimesicle would disguise himself as an egg and be adopted by Quackity as his new son. It was a flawless plan that was definitely not an unhealthy coping mechanism. Though <laughs> their scheming was being intruded upon by Bad Boy Hollow and Depper. Slimesicle quickly deployed his number one strategy of deterring unwanted listeners. Hey, 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 hey! I know you're over here, and I'm gonna start listing every fucking sex fact I know! Sex fact number one! Vulva! Sex fact number two! Clitoris! Sex fact number three! Shaft! Sex fact number four! Penetration! It was highly effective for about 10 seconds before being immediately distracted by the allure of avocado toast. Do you guys want to do you guys want to work for some avocado toast? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I got a I have a I I need to I have a thing. I have a thing. Ooh, avocado right toast. Follow follow me. Avocado toast. We require labor. Okay. With enough work, Bad Boy Hollow gained a small amount of information and lost a great amount of toast. Meanwhile, with his new stash of toast and a mission ahead, Slimesicle prepared a new room in the adoption center. A new, strange green egg appeared. Gig. Slimesicle used his powers of shape shifting to transform himself into an egg as a very convincing disguise. It is still unclear what effects this transformation may have on the mental health of an individual. <laughs> I fooled so good, didn't I? Oh, I did so you good, did, Papa! I mean, Quackity! What? <laughs> Throughout the rest of the day, Slimesicle pretends to be an egg named Geg, convincing the other guests with varying degrees of success. <laughs> on day 33, all guests received a mysterious and frightening message from the familiar duck. Cheyenne. Status. Alive? Alive. Oh my fucking Ramo. god. Lula. Hey! Status. Lunarla! No! Fear struck all parents as they learned that the eggs would all die in six days. Fearing that it may be the truth, the parents used what little time they had left to make these last days special. Meanwhile, some parents grew suspicious of the nature of the message, but only time would tell what it could mean. On day 39, while Slimesicle donned his disguise once more, he entered a confrontation that resulted in his identity in front of all the other guests of the island. This doit être trop trop bien. Hey! What the fuck? What the fuck? It's not what it looks like, okay? Um... An uncomfortable explanation had to follow, which Slimesicle expertly avoided by burying the body so he would not have to answer any questions. Was this the true end of Gig? L'animation était cool, j'avais jamais vu cette animation. Ah, le brésilien. A cargo ship had struck the island. After a heavy storm, the guests discover the crashed remains of the ship and search it for any survivors and perhaps their missing children too. Struggling through several containers of dangerous enemies, the rescue group discovers the five new guests of the island. This was QSMP Info, your main source of information. Stay tuned okay. for the next news. Très cool. Très cool, très cool. Je pense pas que Slime Cycle avait été aussi important dans la première partie. Euh... Ah, mais pour l'instant, il n'y a qu'une seule vidéo. Du coup, là, je pense que ça va être du coup tout l'arc brésilien. Après. C'est cool. Very nice. Et sinon, MME pour les 19 mois. Mr. Max Caver, merci pour les 28 mois. Xti, merci pour les 13 mois. Merci beaucoup. Merci la nuit étoilée pour le prime. Le petit bidule, les 32 mois. Euh, merci Mila, euh, Mila Resoldo, les 2 mois. Merci la main originale pour les 7 mois. Simlix, les 23 mois. Merci beaucoup. Il va y avoir d'autres nationalités qui vont venir très probablement, oui. Les FR sont arrivés deux semaines après les Brésiliens, donc tu connais le reste. Ah ouais Putain, j'avais l'impression qu'ils étaient là depuis une éternité après. T'as des gens, ils passent 10 heures par jour sur le serveur, du coup, bah forcément... Forcément, forcément. Hein. <rire> merci Nitos pour les 8 mois. Grave 2, merci pour l'année, merci beaucoup. Du, 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 du. Une vague de Jap ou Corée, ça serait cool. Oh, moi, je pense que ça va plus être genre des Allemands ou quelque chose comme ça. Merci Flabaloul pour le savoir faire la communauté, merci beaucoup. 